Hello everyone, my name is Punamagi, also known as Red Mage, and this is a tutorial on how to create temporal shield effect in RPG Maker MV. Now, some of you may know that Temporal Shield is or was a mage spell in World of Warcraft, which reduces the amount of damage you take by 15% for a few seconds. After the ex effect expires, you get healed of all the damage you have taken, but it, is a, it happens as a heal over time. Now, in order to make this effect in RPG Maker MV, we will need two plugins, Yanfly's Damage Core and Yanfly's Buff and State Score. If you are using a tick-based combat system such as Yanfly's ATB or CTB plugins, I would also suggest that you get the tick-based regeneration because it fits this kind of effect very well. Now, the first part is to create a skill called Temporal Shield. Make sure that its scope is set to one ally or the user. I'm using one ally for this purpose, and occasion should be battle screen. Uh, all the sp spell needs to do is to add state called Temporal Shield or whichever. Now, as for the states, the first state, Temporal Shield, should be removed at battle end. And it should also have an auto-removal timing of action end and two, two turns in this case. You can make it longer or shorter, but I would suggest that you don't make it too short so it doesn't become useless or too sort of finicky. Now for the important part. Uh, first we need to make a custom apply effect so that we get to store the what I call bar heal for, because it will, this will be the thing we use to check the healing the character will get later on. We set that first to zero. This is also so that if you use this skill again the character doesn't get an additional amount of healing from the previous times. Uh, the most important part is to make a custom react effect. In other words, this is what happens if the character is hit by something. Now, if value, meaning the damage, is greater than zero, and it is a HP effect, meaning that it's not a mana drain or anything similar, uh, you should add the bar heal. You should add that damage to the bar heal variable thingy. And basically that's it. Unless you are like me and you are using Yanfly's absorption barrier. If you are, then you must add a couple of lines. First we need to check the target's barrier points. And then we need to actually reduce that the barrier points from the damage. This is this is because otherwise the the damage will be added to the healing variable even if the damage is absorbed by the shield char other shield character has. Right. And finally, for this state, we need to make a custom leave effect which, in other words, happens once the state expires. Let's make another temporary variable which is equal to the amount of damage the character has taken. Then, if the healing is greater than zero, meaning that the if character has taken some damage, we should we could, or we could show an animation so the player knows that something is happening. And then we actually need to need to save the amount of damage to a variable. I am using number 21. You can use whichever you wish. Just make it so that the, the variable's value is set to the amount of this temporary healing variable thingy. Okay, and then finally, the spaces are necessary, I just think they look nice, uh, we need to add another state. 
which is in my case called temporal ripples. And finally, close the effect Oops. and close this one as well. Here we go. Now, temporal ripples. Uh, this should also be removed at battle end, but this should be set auto removal to turn end, especially if you are using the tick based regeneration plugin. Uh, the duration should be something like four to six rounds, maybe. Uh, just don't make it too long, or otherwise the heal will be so small that it's basically not worth it. Now, this is a regeneration effect, so we need to make a custom regenerate effect. Now, first we dig up the value stored in the variable we defined just a moment ago. In my case, 21. Then, since this is a heal over time effect, we need to divide that, that healing by the number of turns this state lasts. In my case, 4. Finally, we make the target to gain HP equal to the healing and show it to the player. Uh, an important reminder here, JavaScript is case sensitive and also naturally quite finicky about the typing, so try not to avoid making any typing errors or you will get an error message, message later on. That should be it. Then we close this effect. And now we have the healing part done. In order to make the damage reduction effect, we need to go to the plugin manager and then to the damage core. Uh, place this effect near the end of the damage step so it I, the reduction happens after all the other damage reductions. I'm using step 97. Here we check that the base damage is greater than zero, in other words that the character takes damage, and that the target is affected by the state temporal, a temporal shield, which in my case is number 17. Now, if these conditions are met, the value, e, 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 uh, i.e. the damage, should be multiplied by 0 0.85. And here we go. Alright, OK. Save. And make sure that one of your characters has the skill. Time for testing. These two characters have roughly the same amount of magic re resistance and the enemy is set so that it only casts a sort of nasty fire spell which affects both characters. So I'm making Michael cast Tempora Shield on himself, Kevin attacks so he doesn't get any guard effects. And as you can see, Michael took less damage than Kevin. Now, so my characters don't die, I will try to put the enemy on sleep and use a bit of healing. Okay, it didn't work. Uh, oh well, I'm going to survive this anyhow. <laughs> At least we should get a nice healing effect now. As you can see, Michael now has the temporary ripples effect. Uh, therefore, I'm going to focus on healing Kevin because the sleep should last for a while. Now, you, as you can see, uh, Michael is getting health back little by little, equal to all the damage he took just a moment ago.
And there we go, let's wrap this battle up. And there we go. That is how you make a temporal shield effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any feedback or suggestions, feel free to leave comments below on this video. Thank you.